going to have to explain about informal letters. Before that, you should know what is a letter. A letter is a written message conveyed from one person to another, generally via post. Through post, we are sending a written message. That is, simply it is a communication written form. There are two types of letters and they are formal letter and informal letter. Formal letter, we are writing it formally to some officers, to teachers, principals like this. While informal letter, we are writing to our friends, our parents, our family members and all. Formal letters are used for some business or professional purpose while informal letters are used for the personal communication. And in formal letter, we are using symbol language while in informal letter, we are using casual or emotional tone. We are using very casual words. We are not talking in a formal way in informal letter. Now, let's focus on the format of the informal letter. The informal letters we are writing for our family members, parents and friends. So the first thing we have to write is the sender's detail or the sender's address. It is we have to write the name and address of the person who is writing the letter. And it is mostly preferred to write in three lines. The address is preferred to be written in three lines. First we will write the name, then we will write the address. So totally it will be three lines. Then after that you have to write the date. Date is always written as DMY, date, month, year. You can see the example 2nd March 2020, date, month, year. Then we have the salutation. Salutation means how we are uh, respecting that person, how we are calling that person. So here we have to, we can use according to our wish. If you are writing to your best friend, you can write to your bestie. If you are writing to your father, you can write dear father, dear mother, like this. That is called the salutation. After the salutation comes the body of the letter. Body means where we are writing the actual message of this letter. The body of the letter includes three parts and they are introduction, main content and summary. Introduction includes the purpose of the letter. While in main content, we can see the detailed information regarding this letter. And in summary, we are just summarizing the information. After the body of the letter, we have to give the complimentary close. That is, we are going to, have to end this letter. And there we are using these words, yours lovingly or yours sincerely. And it is mostly preferred to use yours lovingly because we are writing this letter to our very loved ones. So, it is best to use yours lovingly. Then after that, you have to write the name and the signature. Even you can write only your first name. Like imagine uh, Arpita Bora is writing the letter. We can just write a Arpita. Because we are writing to our beloved ones. They don't want to know our full name. So, there Arpita. Then you have to put the signature. Signature can be written in running letters. Nothing else. So, this is all about the format of informal letter. Here you can see a rough format of informal letter. First, we have written the address and address is in three line. Then comes the date. So, after writing the address, leave a line, then write the date. Then after that, leave a line and write the salutation. And here you can see the salutation is dear bestie. Then after that, you have to write the body of the letter and uh, it is preferred to write in three paragraphs but there is um, no restriction that you have to write in three paragraphs. Then after writing the body of the letter we have to give the complimentary close and there it is yours lovingly. Then we have to write the name either it can be first name or the full name doesn't matter then we have to give the signature. Here we can see a letter written by Akriti or Rabinav to Mushkan. And Akriti or Rabinav is just describing about experience in the new school. So while writing an informal letter, the first thing we have to write is the address. An address should be in three line formula. It is compulsory. 
and here we can see that it is written in three line formula. After that leave a line and we have to write the date. Date should be D M Y date month year. We can see the same. Then we have to leave a line and we have to give the salutation and here dear Mushkan. Mushkan is the name of the friend. So we can write dear Mushkan or dear bestie or dear friend anything like that. Then we have to write the body of the letter. I have told you it is better to write in three paragraphs but there it is not compulsory that it should be in three paragraphs. Here you can see it is only two paragraphs. It is normal but there should be an introduction, there should be the content and there should be a conclusion to the body. And while you, when you are reading it, you will be understanding it properly. Then we have to give the complimentary close that is give us lovingly. Then we have to write the name and the signature. So here it can be if you are a boy, you can use a binav, otherwise you can use Akriti. And you have to give the signature. This is all about an informal letter. It is very simple compared to formal letter. It is very simple. And still, if you have any doubt, please do clarify the earliest. Thank you for watching.